Okay, this is my first time using the GoPro and this is me driving to work, leaving the house. This is my neighborhood. As you can see, I have a dirt road. And uh, there's some construction going on here. This first house on the left is not, uh, not finished yet, but it's almost complete. I don't know if you can see that pile of rocks there. Another house they're working on. These little vans, you see them all over the place. This is another house they're working on. Now, I got people living in these houses on my left. This is a guided tour. Now these two trees are the landmark I use to give people directions to my house. If you come to my house, you make a right turn at the two trees. So got, I got the new backpack battery on here. And uh, that's supposed to, I don't know how long that's gonna last, but this is an hour trip. So I'm gonna see if I can record the whole trip. We'll see what happens. See, I'm off the rocky road on the paved road. And again, out to the front, I got a whole lot of constructions behind my house. And uh, I'm going left, but I'm supposed to be going right because not a whole lot of people live back here or work. So uh, this is a huge traffic circle. So I just go left instead of going right because it's shorter. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Now you see, I live in the city of Dubai, <clears throat> but it's still the desert. And uh, where they hadn't put cotton concrete down or planted grass and water every day, it's sand, it's desert. As you can see to your front there, that's all desert. And you know, I'm, I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes from the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. to come road uh, getting ready to go to work and as you can see these they, uh, they got some major roads here and I just came back that's basically a five lane road back behind me and it turns into a two lane road on my side four lane road total and that, that other piece breaks off that's another way to go to uh, Abu Dhabi or Sarja but I went right but I'm going on a back road instead of taking Embers Road on the left on the to my right
work going on. This is the, uh, the I guess they redoing the traffic circle here at the uh, Arabian Ranches, which is to my left, and Motor City is to my right. But we're going straight through this traffic circle. <clears throat> you see those construction workers out there working? Yeah, well, it's over 100 degrees out here, and it's it's 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, they out there, they, they be working. So uh, yeah, let's pray for them guys. I know they hot. Hopefully they have enough water. I think they can make them give them a break during the day, an hour or two, and uh, have give them extra break during their summertime. That's part of the uh, UAE labor law, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Pull out in front of me, like a water truck. <clears throat> they got a lot of water trucks driving around here. Yeah, a lot of them going around watering uh, trees and grass and stuff. And uh, I don't know what, you know, some of them they just carry a lot of water. Which in the US you don't see a lot of water trucks because you know, turn on faucets. But here, everywhere you go, they have faucets and running water, but you know, the, all the water comes from these salination plants, so I guess they just move a lot of water. Uh, they need water to water all this grass they got here that's growing everywhere. Now, if you can see, in my front, there's a police vehicle. That's an Emirati policeman, and uh, they ride around with their blue lights flashing all the time. Not all of them, but, but, you, but you see them, they'll have their blue lights on. They don't mean nothing. They just got their lights on. They ride with their lights on. And uh, you don't have to move out the way. You don't have to do anything. And uh, the only time you got to move out the way is if they have the siren and the lights on. Which is, you know, can be kind of confusing, but uh, that's how they roll here. <clears throat> Here I'm taking uh, Highway 611, which is a uh, fairly not used road. It's now never, it's never got a lot of traffic on it, like six, like uh, 11, the main road to uh, Dubai Abu Dhabi. But I go this road, it's a back way, and uh, I can put my car on cruise cruise control and not worry about uh, other cars cutting me off and getting in the way because there's so few cars. But you got a lot of trucks on this road because uh, they don't let these trucks drive on 11. These big trucks. As you can see, all desert, baby. I got some construction going over here. People, then they're gonna put some apartments out here. Um, but like I said, Dubai is in the middle of the desert. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, six lane, 12 lane road. If you look at both sides, this is a 12 lane road. And uh, it's never full. I mean, it's, traffic is always flowing on this road. That's why I like to take it to work. Uh, in the morning, there are, there are more cars, but it's still not a lot. As you can see now, it's mostly just trucks, and there are a few cars sprinkled in between. That was a radar I just passed on the left, if you saw the... Uh, like a solar panel, and then there's a little camera there. Takes your picture of your speed. The speed limit on this road is 120 kilometers an hour, but you have a 20 buffer, so you can do 140 before you get uh, a ticket. So I'm doing 140, uh, 136 according to my GPS.
where the Boeing driver works. Uh, through the back, back, uh, back of the vial. And uh, it'll get a little bit more interesting when I get on Truck Road, which is a three lane road. And if you've never seen the three, three lane road, that's gonna be, uh, gonna be, that's gonna be fun. Now that's Truck Road uh, to the front. You see the trucks going back and forth uh, perpendicular to me. And uh, that's the road that I'm gonna get on to take me to the uh, north gate of uh, Sheikh Zayed Military City. And I just left six lanes, now I'm on two. So it's a good thing this road is not uh, busy because there would definitely be a bottleneck at this location when those six lanes are going to start feeding the two. See, I'm on a one lane road, I'm behind the truck. It's doing about 60, and he kind of pulls over so I can pass him on the side. That's how things work here. So now, he pulls over, I pass him on the side. Now I'm getting on truck road. And yeah, they don't let these big trucks get you know, on uh, the major highways, so they have to take uh, this truck road. They have a couple of truck roads throughout the city. This is a two lane road. Two lane road, and the trucks here normally doing about Anywhere between 70 to 80 miles, 70 to 80 kilometers uh, per hour. I'm doing 120 right now. And again, like I said, two lanes, three lane roads, because see that truck is right on the side, which allows me to pass in the middle. And even with oncoming trucks, you'll see in a minute, I'll still be passing in the middle because they, they create a little opening for me. The most dangerous thing is not the truck, it's other cars who are passing the trucks and you know they're in the middle of the road and they're blinking their lights at you and uh, you know they're not they're not moving over you can see now I'm, I'm passing cars trucks are coming at me they moving over so I can get by you know like this one right here he's he not getting over fast enough but I'm still going this is truck roll three lanes baby that's how we roll in Dubai in the UAE I was gonna bring Leah this way one day, but I figured Leah have a heart attack me driving through these trucks like that. Cause she be hollering and screaming way on the regular road. It's fun, baby. <laughs> There's a camera for him to my right. I don't know if you saw it in the camera. One thing people like about driving back here on uh, Truck Road is there are no speed cameras. So, you know, cars get back here and, you know, I'm, I'm doing, one, actually I'm doing about 115, now 120. Uh, but cars get back here and they be flying, zooming. See, there's a car in the middle of the road just like me, so one has got to move over. And I will. Because I don't trust them all the time to move over. So if you come to uh, uh, UAE and you want some excitement, let's drive down Truck Road, baby. And there's a median in the road, so I gotta slow down because I don't want to drive on the median. I don't know if you can see that camera on there's a camel on the side of the road, just chilling. I don't know if you saw him or not. They got a fence over there, so I don't know how he got out that fence. But I figured, I guess he figured a way through, huh? Baby, three 
main road. Let's see all this jungle right here, he ain't moving over, but luckily I can get by and there ain't no trucks coming. I normally don't come to work this late, uh, but I had some problems at the house and um, trying to find out who's doing what. Uh, somebody dug a hole right outside my gate and, uh, you know, a big hole with a back hole and uh, trying to find out what's going on. So I stayed there till, then, till somebody showed up, but nobody showed up. Today. That's, you see this guy, he wasn't gonna pull over. So I always just pull over because uh, they just keep coming right down the middle of the road. But uh, normally it's not this many trucks on the road when I come to work in the morning. I leave the house by 7 a.m., get to work by 8. <clears throat> and uh, it's normally not this, you know, it's half this many trucks. Same thing when the car's coming, there's no trucks. You know, I move over to get a guy room to drive down the middle of the road. I move into the far right hand lane so he can drive down the middle lane. Okay, now, I guess we've been running about 20, 30 minutes now, and uh, the light on the back of the camera is blinking, so it uh, looks like my battery is getting low, but I do have the backpack on, so I'm assuming that uh, my backpack battery is going to die here soon, and my uh, regular battery is going to take over. That's what the instructor said, and we're going to see what happens. Now I'm getting off a of truck road, getting off on Osborne Road. Which will take me to the uh, the north gate. And this is a uh, in a two lane on my side, four lane total. Uh, no speed camera, so uh, you know when you're in a herd, you can just uh, you know speed out. And this is a fairly well maintained road, so uh, there's a few times I've been running a little late. I've hit uh, you know 180, 190, and uh, <clears throat> you know since I got this big V8 car. I uh, I pushed it here and I got it up to about two. About, I got two forty on the dash. It'll do two forty, and uh, probably would have did a little bit more. But I don't do that very often, and uh, I think I only did that once or twice. But uh, I normally just cruise on here. Right now I'm doing about one forty, and I'm not in a hurry. I'm already late. They don't need to rush. date season here. I got dates all over the trees and uh, they love dates over here. Yeah, all right. I don't really, uh, I'm not a big date fan, but uh, my son Anthony, he loves them. It's 113 degrees, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. traffic circle. They don't have a whole lot of uh, left turns here. They have traffic circles instead of stop signs. And actually on road like, roads like this it's better because you actually have to stop. On the problem they got all these doggone speed bumps. But uh, you don't have to come to a complete stop. You just check make sure ain't nothing in the traffic circle and roll on through. Okay, this is my ride to work. This is my traffic circle. And I'm gonna have to put the camera down because uh, I can't tape on base. Uh, so as soon as I go around this uh, traffic tur circle, I'm gonna stop the video. And uh, I've been running with the Go GoPro backpack, battery backpack, uh, for 50 minutes. And uh, I'm very low on the battery right now, but it's still running. And uh, 
I'm using a 32 gigabyte car, it's the class 10 uh, macro SD card and I was good for 50 minutes of video. So that's uh, that's pretty impressive of just first time use. As you can see, I'm going to Zag Military City as a sign. And uh, hey, peace out. Enjoy the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched it all the way to the end, 